Shalom Aleichem again, again. I had another little thing to um, to kind of add to the video about pixels, about painting your pixels in life. And it's about a new word that I came up with. We all know about universe, right? Okay, so universe comes from Latin. Uni means one and verse means uh, uh, swirling or revolution. So the universe is is one cohesive whole that uh, that is always coming around and around and around. And this could have to do with time being circular. It could have to do with with just a, a, a re general swirling activity of uh, of the heavenly bodies and everybody. Whatever I don't know, but humiverse. That's my new word. What is a humiverse? A humiverse is the new universe that we create when we assume that we understand the pixel that somebody else is painting. Okay, so assumption is the opposite of trust. When you trust somebody, they say what their universe is, what their reality is, and you join in with them with that. So when you trust somebody, you go up and you paint their pixel with them. Now when you assume that you know what their pixel is supposed to look like, you bollocks it all up. So this brings me around to my main point that one of our biggest powers and responsibilities as human beings is that we have the ability to, within our own mind, create an entire new world simply through not trusting and by assuming that we understand a situation or we understand uh, we understand what somebody's life is like or we understand even the interaction that we're having with somebody and you probably all notice this with like text conversations okay text conversations you can't see the people's eyes you can't feel their emotion you can't actually hear the tone of their voice and so it's very very easy for us to take sarcasm in the wrong way or for us to take something that's not meant to be sarcastic as being sarcastic and uh and to get hurt feelings because of it and to react but when you trust you don't react you respond because when you trust somebody you you have a faithfulness and that what they are telling you is their reality is their reality now there are many times in life that we've all been hurt we've all been uh, absolutely destroyed by other people who have violated our trust and that has led us to not being able to trust others but it's not really about others it's about ourselves we have to love ourselves we have to trust ourselves we have to love and know and cherish and see the god within us before we can see the god within anybody else and once we can do that then we can love them and then we can trust them without any baggage coming along we all have baggage of a certain kind uh and a certain amount but you can unpack that baggage also and you can unpack it inside yourself so that the next time somebody tells you no that's not that's not true this is this is what things actually are you can trust them but if you don't trust yourself if you don't love yourself and if you carry over everything that happened in another relationship or other relationships uh, ad infinitum before you met this person whether it's a romantic relationship or it's a friendship relationship and that relationship's trust was broken if you carry that over then you don't even trust yourself. You're like a man wearing suspenders and, uh, uh, or braces for those of you in the UK. You're like a man wearing suspenders and a belt. He doesn't even trust his own pants to stay up. How can he trust anybody else? So don't be a man wearing braces and a belt. Be a man who says, okay, I'm not going to assume that I understand what you're going through. I am just going to recognize that you have a pixel to color in and I'm going to help you. Or don't. It's your choice. You can pull back and you can decide not to uh, not to have a relationship with uh, uh, with the person that you don't feel you can trust. And that's perfectly fine. Because you know what? It's a big world. There are six billion people out there or seven billion people. I can't remember the last time I checked. And there are a lot of people out there to have friendships with. But 
if you don't trust one person because of what another person did, you're not going to trust another person either. And that's going to keep festering and keep festering and keep festering. And pretty soon, you're not even going to be able to color in your own pixels, let alone anyone else's. So 